All right, now it's time to cut our cream and red stripes. But one of the first things that I do is I look at my fat quarter bundle and I determine how many colors I have of each. So in the fat quarter tower or bundle, I like to call it a tower. So if I call it a tower, that's what I mean. But there are 10 red prints, 15 creams, and eight blues. And then there's also three stripes. And I am not gonna use the three stripes, so I'm gonna set them aside. And then I also wanna point out that there are three prints, two cream and one red, that have a stripe in them. And I wanna cut those different because I wanna cut so the short part of the stripe runs this way and not the long way. So I'm gonna set those aside and cut those later on. So I make sure I cut them the right direction. So now you can cut each block singly or you can mass cut all your red and cream. And if you wanna know how I get things done, it's by mass cutting. I don't cut things out for each block individually, especially when it's all the same for each block, like our red and cream stripes are. So in our directions, it says mass cutting for all 20 blocks. So we're gonna get this out of the way right now in the beginning, so when we're ready, and we have our piece block, we can just go in and grab our pre-cut strips for the red and cream stripes. So now it says I need 80, one and a quarter by eight inch red. I need 60, one and a quarter by 13 and a half red. So I need 14 strips that are one and a quarter inch wide. So I have a fat quarter. So I automatically do the math. So 14 one and a quarter strips equals 17 and a half inches. Now I'm good either way with my fat quarter, but I'm definitely going to cut them the 22 inch or 21 inch width this way. And then the um, width I will cut this way. So I just wanted to make sure I had enough before I started cutting and that the math made sense. The cream is easy. I only need 60 of the um, eight and a quarter and 60 of the 13 and a half. And then what I did is I figured out what I need from each color. So I need, so what I need is eight strips to make the 80 because I have 10 reds. And then when I need 60, I need six from each red, so that means I only need 14 strips, like I said previously. But then in the creams, I only need 60 of each one, and remember, I have 15 creams. So if I need 60, I have 15 fabrics, that means I only need four strips of the eight and a half, or eight and a quarter, excuse me, and four of the 13 and a half for a total of eight strips off of each cream. So I know that might be kind of confusing, but it'll all make sense when we're doing it. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna get ready to cut. Now, the first thing I did is because I'm doing all this mass cutting and all this layering, make sure you put in a new blade. And I really love the new endurance blades. And keep in mind, I have layered my fabric. So in this piece here, in this stack here, I have four reds. And this one, I have one, two, three, five. So I have five, four, and then my extra red is over there in that stripe. So I'm gonna mass cut these. So with that in mind, we have to know what we're doing so we don't make any mistakes because we'd have to buy another fat quarter tower if we mess it up. So, all right, so the first thing I need to do is clean off an edge. I'm gonna just line this up, make sure all of my fabrics, all four of them. So remember, we only need 13 and a quarter, so I can cut a kind of a nice big hunk here to make sure everything is in order. So I'm gonna change my mind here. <laughs> Instead of doing what I normally do, be like cutting that way, I am gonna cut this way and just 
clean off an edge here. So there is my cleaned off edge. Now I need 13 and a quarter. So I'm going to double check 13 and a half, one and a quarter inch wide. That's where I got that from. All right. So 13 and a half. So I could do this or I could grab another ruler. All right. So here's my 15 inch square that I'm going to use. And this gives me a little bit more control. Now I find the one one, put that on the edge and I'm going to go to 13 and a half. And what's nice about this measurement is these strips are oversized lengthwise. We are going to trim them up later. So if you would make a mistake and only cut 13 and a quarter or something like that, you still have plenty. So now I am here, nice long straight edge, 13 and a half. So I'm going to make that cut, slide my ruler up. And this is extra. I'll set that aside. I'm going to turn, clean off this edge. And remember, I'm going to do 14 strips at one and a quarter. So I'm going to be doing a lot of cutting. So here's what I mean by doing that. You ask me how I do it. That's really what I do. So if you're a little better at cutting that off, but that's, that's how I do that. Now I just want to double check. I need eight, eight and a quarters, and I need six, 13 and a half. So I'm only going to do six of those. Now let's just do a little bit of math. So one and a quarter, one and a quarter, one and a quarter, one and a quarter is five. And then if I add another two one and a quarters, that is seven and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this at seven and a half. So I'm going to make sure this edge is lined up on a nice straight line. And then I'm at seven and a half. And then I'm going to cut. And then I'm going to slide over to six and a quarter. And you'll want to write these measurements down. Seven and a half, six and a quarter, five. Three and three quarters. In my mind, I knew what it was, but I always want to double check because we don't want to make any mistakes. Two and a half. And what I really like about my rulers is that everything on them is a dashed line. I promised Kaylee I wouldn't talk while I was cutting, so I'm trying not to. <laughs> quarter, quarter. All right, so here are my six. Oh, I got to do eight. I only did six. Oh, yeah. Six, 13 and a half. And then I have to do eight, eight and a quarters. So now I can go to eight and a quarter. And if you also notice, I don't worry about the lines on my mat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a quarter. Get that on a solid line, make sure I'm good. This is extra as well. Now I am going to cut eight of them. So if I, I mean, I could just start, you know, one and a quarter, one and a quarter, one and a quarter, but I don't really like to do that. So seven and a half plus another two and a half equals 10. All right, so now I'm going to go on 10. Make sure my right angles are good. Cut. And then back. Now, so I'm going to eight and three quarters. Seven and a half. There, all 
eight. Now I'm just gonna repeat that with the second set of red. Nothing like being on the spot when you have to cut. So there is pretty much all my reds except for the one there that I have to cut with the stripes. So now on to the creams. My... And these are a little bit more fabric in here. Trim up the edge. Making sure where's my shortest fabric right about there. These blades are awesome. This is like, what did I say? Seven layers of fabric. All right, now we have four at one and a quarter by eight and a quarter, four by 13 and a half, one and a quarter. So a total of eight strips. So I'm gonna go 13 and a half. And remember, we need some of this fat quarter for our star blocks. So it's good to get your stripes out of the way first. And then anything left over can be used in our pieced blocks. Like this is a lot of fabric. And then there's going to be some this way as well. All right, now total of eight strips, four and four, and eight strips is 10 inches. So I'm gonna go to 10 inches, make that cut, and look at, again, leftover for our blocks. Kind of mixing up my garbage and my good stuff here. We'll make two little piles there. All right, now I have to make sure I don't cut the wrong end here. 13 and a half. All right, now I need four, so that would be five inches. Five, three and three quarters. So I know some of you will not be using the same amount of fabrics that I am. So just adjust your numbers as needed. I shouldn't be talking while I'm trying to do this because I almost cut one wrong. So when you do cut, make sure you have no distractions. One, two, three, four. This one, eight and a quarter. And if you don't have a big square, you can use another ruler. They work just as fine too. So I like to use smaller rulers on smaller pieces. 
And I love that this five by 15 inch ruler is five inches because I can do so much with it. All right, so I'll continue cutting the cream until we have everything done and then we'll come back for the stripes. time to cut our stripes. So what I'm trying to do is to, instead of having the stripes go this way, I want the stripes to be cut this way. So I'm going to clean off an edge. I always want to do that. I don't know why. off another edge and don't worry if your your stripes aren't exactly straight we don't we don't care our fabric is not going to be like perfect perfect you're going to have that little bit of bow in there or if it really bugs you you can just always give it a little bit of a straighten it out because i know it will bug some of you it doesn't bug me though all right Let's straighten this back up. Thirteen and a half. And on the red, I need six of them. So we're gonna have a couple extra light ones on this one, no big deal. So seven and a half is six. So I'm starting at seven and a half to cut six one and a quarter inch strips. Six and a quarter. Five. Three and three quarters. So there are my six. So do you see what I mean about the stripe? going the short way versus the long way. We'll sort those out into the correct piles. Now we need eight and a quarter. And I need eight, so I need 10 inches. Alrighty, oops, I cut one the wrong way. We needed to go that way. No big deal, we still have our eight and a half. We're just gonna have one going that way. No problem. See, it happens. Okay, so I have eight and a quarter. I have to just make, adjust my measurement here now. So, let's see, eight and a quarter. So we're gonna go to seven. <laughs> 
five and three quarters, four and a half. I knew I couldn't do it all under pressure, <laughs> but only one. And I knew right away when I did it. And we probably have more than enough strips anyway. All right, now I gotta quit talking and get this right. Three, four, five, six. Hopefully we'll have enough. Otherwise I gotta cut another one the other way. Okay, now I'll sort my reds away from the creams here. All right, now as you can see, I have all of my red and cream strip cut to the right size. So after each block that I make each week, we'll be ready to add the stripes. So now we're ready to piece a block.